wanted by my bright white teeth. Perhaps with eating my magnificent chin. <laughs> my lovely brown hair is as soft as a bear's coat. <laughs> I am not a slimy beast. I 
I am a useful and much loved creature. Ask any garden you like, and that's for you. I am a pest. You're so proud of that, but for the life of me, I cannot understand why. I am the only pest in this room, unless you count old green rat opera over there. But he is way past it now. He's too old to be a pest anymore. Young fellow, I have never been a pest in my life. I am a musician. He here, James. Your name is James, isn't it? Yes. Well, James, have you ever in your life seen such a marvellous, colossal centipede as me? I certainly haven't. How on earth did you get to be like that? Very peculiar. Very, very peculiar indeed. Let me tell you what happened. I was messing about in the garden under the old, old peach tree, and suddenly a funny little green thing came wriggling past my nose. Bright green it was, and extraordinarily beautiful. It looked like some sort of tiny stone or crystal. Oh, I don't know what that was. It happened to me too. And me, suddenly, the little green thing everywhere. The soil was full of them. I actually swallowed one. So did I. I swallowed three. But who's telling the story anyway? Don't interrupt. It's too late to tell stories now. It's time to go to sleep. I refuse to sleep in my boots. How many more of it to come off, James? I think I've got about 20 so far. But Matt leaves 80 to go. 22, not 80. He's lying again. Stop pulling me out of his leg. Pulling his leg? Which leg am I pulling? You tell me that. We really must get some sleep now. We've got a tough day ahead of us tomorrow. So would you be kind enough, Miss Spider, to make the beds?